Drinkers. In this video we're going to be unboxing and looking at a thermal imager. This thermal imager was made by HTI. It's a HT-101 thermal imager designed to plug into a mobile phone for the image capture. It's actually a nice solid box set of instructions on setting it up and use of the product. There is software that I will need to download and install on the phone. I'll be using this phone. And I will uh, endeavour to upload a copy of the instructions. Inside the box, take off the protective coating and we find the thermal imager designed to mount on the bottom of the phone. This one is USB-C. Unfortunately my phone only has a micro USB. Also in the box is what looks like a case to store it in, which is difficult to get out. nothing else in the box. What have we got? It's got a nice rubber seal around the outside. Something else in here. Nice cut out to hold the camera. And this is a USB-C to micro USB adapter. One thing about um, USB-C is you can plug it in either way. Okay, so first thing we need to do is install the software. Okay, so after much trial and error, I finally got this to work. So as you can see, you can see my hand. I'm going to take my hand away from the table where I had it. You can see it's left an after image. Some of the things we can turn on include min and max, and also the temperature and the target. We can also change the colour scheme. in red so the hotter items are more white and fade to blue as they cool down the missivity is how much heat how much reflected heat there is coming out of everywhere else this shows the temperature of the gradients on the side and we can see uh, both the the real camera visible light camera and the thermal imaging so this is just going to take a little bit of practice to get to use it. We can also take snapshots and take recording. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click subscribe and like and don't forget to tick the notification bell google believes you'll enjoy these other videos and we'll see you on the next video